Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Karen and this is my story. Um, my channel is definitely filled with an eclectic um, array of things, mostly focusing on health, food, and history. Um, just because that's me and that's my story. Today I wanted to come on here just because it is actually May, what, 23rd? Today is May 23rd, so it is exactly the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21, 22, 23. Five days after my year anniversary of my transplant. Well, you just saw that. So this is another reason why I'm on here today is because I wanted to talk about this. This is psoriasis. If you are not familiar with what psoriasis is, it is an autoimmune disease that, um, causes your cells to attack healthy cells in your body. I, I don't know how to explain it. But it's an autoimmune disease that causes me to produce an excess amount of skin. It's telling my body that I need to reproduce skin and it ends up in these dry flaky patches. The reason why I wanted to come on here today and talk about that is just because I wanted to take you guys on my journey um, on correcting <laughs> The psoriasis or maybe just even finding something that works for me maybe it'll work for you um something that will help me with my psoriasis so i have this huge patch right here i haven't had psoriasis on my arm like this in forever i want to say even when i was a child i mostly had them on my legs big patches and i would never wear skirts or dresses just because they were embarrassing um recently and i was just many years after my transplant i said that i would give an update because at first i thought my psoriasis was clearing up i thought that everything was okay um but no it hasn't and i have like a couple of theories as to why or reasons as to why i think that my psoriasis is not clearing up so my doctor had told me that after you get a kidney transplant your kidney wants to continue to produce urine right it wants to produce 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 produce, produce urine so they want you to drink an excess amount of water um I haven't taken you guys on all of my blood drawings or all of my appointments or anything like that, but during those appointments, um, we talk about my creatine levels and, and, and stuff like that. I always say things like that. But we talk about those things and anytime that I haven't had a lot of liquid to drink, I tend to have high levels of creatine in my system, making them concerned, thinking that I will reject the kidney. So it is very important, again, like I said, to drink, 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 drink plenty of water. Now, if you're someone like me that suffers from psoriasis, you have another autoimmune, and even though I'm taking immunosuppressant medications, um, like I said, my kidney is producing liquid, I mean, producing urine like that. So it's hard for me to stay hydrated. Not staying hydrated only irritates my psoriasis further like what is happening like this has never happened to me before i've never had so much and, um back here looks crazy over here you can see some and i would show you my legs <sighs> i would show you my legs but maybe in a different video just because it would be too much to remove all of this and to kind of just show you my legs right now i have some on my hips i have some on my back um, and then my scalp. My scalp, when I say that I've been washing my hair almost every single day, I've been washing my hair almost every single day, it's actually coming out the front here. And I really don't want to show it so much because it is, it's embarrassing. So I did some research online. I did find something on Instagram called Ancient Cosmetics. I think that's what it's called. I, I will try to buy that turmeric scrub because I heard turmeric is really good for your skin. And soak um, in a bath of Epsom salt or oatmeal some type of oat based you know they usually have those oatmeal soaks um, from Aveeno those didn't really work for me I don't I don't know if that works for everybody it didn't work for me it made me more itchy just like they said you know to put coconut oil or shea butter um, to moisturize your body every day that you're getting out of the shower and I try to do that. I will say that I've skimped on that this winter. I don't know if I was just, you know, post-transplant kind of tired and a little bit lazy. But I'm also anemic, so I get colds pretty quickly. And for me, I get out the shower, I'm just like, oh, I'm in a hot shower. I get out and I just throw my stuff on really quickly. But you really should moisturize every single day. Sometimes I would come into the room and moisturize after. But then I would find myself more itchy. Even with just coconut oil, even with just shea butter. So if somebody knows like a cure, like the ultimate, like a moisturizer that I can use where I'm not like itching, it's like, I 
don't know. Like, cause even this, like, I want to pick it so bad. I really want to pick this. It's disgusting. <gasps> like, nasty. Um, nope. Like, it's unsightly. Like, even I went to the supermarket and I saw, you know, a guy with it all over his elbows and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so unsightly. And I feel so bad because, yeah, I, I don't... <laughs> Ugh, because I know that that's how I'm, you know, that's how everybody's looking at me. Like, you look crazy. You're, no. Let me, let me retract all of that. You don't look crazy if you have psoriasis. If you have psoriasis, you're psoriasis gang like me. We have psoriasis together. We're going to help. We're going to find a cure for this psoriasis, okay? So, on my journey that I want to take you guys with me on. I don't know if that makes sense just like that, but I'm just going to keep it like that. I want to take you to the gym with me, so hopefully we can get this pooch I have going on here down. Because as you know, um, when I had my kidney transplant, I have a bulge now in front of my stomach. I've always prided myself on health and fitness, and I really wanted to achieve this ideal um, figure. I know it sounds terrible, but I, I did. And when I got my transplant, I will say a part of me was very, very sad. And I was very sad because it took 10 years to diagnose me with Sogren's, which is to talk about on this channel but I was diagnosed with Sogren's which causes which means I don't have the, the glands that everybody else has right so let's why don't we give that update right now I don't have the sweat glands that everybody else has the saliva glands that everybody else has the tear duct glands that everybody else has so what does that mean that means right now I'm suffering from extreme dry mouth like literally my mouth is really dry um, that means that I have not had tears um, so I've never I I can't physically cry tears. I haven't cried tears since I was like eight years old. Um, and then again with the sweat glands, so I'll feel like I'm sweating. Listen, I moved to Miami before I moved up here to Albany. I moved. I was in Miami for, I want to say, three, maybe four months. And Miami is hot. I went there from April to July. April, May, June, July. Yeah. So it was hot during that time. And I, when I would tell you, I would walk to the supermarket. I would actually walk because at the time I did not know how to drive. I would walk to the supermarket. And I would feel like I'm like sweating. Like I would just feel so hot. I would touch my forehead and not announce the sweat. There's no sweat. So again, that can be the reason why my psoriasis is so bad and why it's flaring up the way that it is. Um, because of my sovereigns. So not only do I have an autoimmune called psoriasis, but I have an autoimmune that's sovereign. So, and then, okay, so since I have psoriasis, so much of it on my scalp, look at this hair. I've been living in Albany for it'll be eight years in july so it'll be eight years in july that i've been living in albany i've cut my hair a good 15 inches twice um in that time and i am so blessed i will tell you that my nails and my hair grow like weeds like they just grow 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 i am blessed i love it uh, but at the same time it can be very difficult to kind of treat my the psoriasis that's on my scalp more than once i have wanted to just shave my entire head off and like really get in there into my scalp and kind of just get the psoriasis away But I don't know that I would shave my... I don't know. Should I... Is it going to grow back thicker? I think that the, the, the hair on your head would grow back thicker. And my hair is really, really thick. So I don't know if that's a wise move. I've also used tea gel. Now, if anybody else has kind of something that I can use in my hair that will work for me, please let me know. They told me to use tea gel because it has a tar in it. I used to use tea gel all the time. It stinks like all hell. Like, it just freaking stinks. It stinks bad. Um, It's almost like downing castor oil. Ugh. Disgusting. Ew, even the thought of it just makes me feel gross. <laughs> but yeah, the tea gel does not work. So then I went and, and bought um, this apple cider vinegar like scrub for your hair from Shea Moisture. And I don't know, I just feel like it's getting worse. I don't know if it's because of the transplant and because I'm not drinking enough liquids and that my scalp is just getting worse, but it just feels like it is getting worse. I can't even touch my head to scratch a little bit without flakes coming out. And that, I was gonna say that shit. I did anyway, but whatever. Um, I was gonna, it's just annoying. It's annoying it's an, and it's embarrassing. You know how many times a day someone's like, oh, you got something right there in your hair? And I'm just like, yes, it's my psoriasis. I know, I got it. And then I have to wear long sleeves because I don't want nobody seeing this. Like this looks bad. <sighs> so terrible. I'm also getting right here on the side of my head. I don't know if you could see that, but a psoriasis patch right there. I've never had psoriasis like right on my face. Um, 
just crazy so if anybody has any remedies for psoriasis please let me know right now my next couple of videos i really want to focus on going to trader joe's and getting some really healthy things i want to make some smoothies that i think would be beneficial for my skin a lot with vitamin z some aloe um avocados a lot of things that are really good and moisturizing for your skin i want to make a ton of smoothies i want to take pictures along the way um i want to challenge myself to drink and i speak really fast so i'm really sorry i want to challenge myself to drink at least a gallon of water a day maybe not a gallon maybe the, the three liters like they're telling me to drink but it's so challenging when i say that it is challenging it is challenging sometimes i feel actually nauseous trying to drink so much water um and i had just talked to my social worker recently because this is since I'm a year post-transplant now, um, I have to apply for Medicare. Now, I explained this in another video how the insurance piece is really, really difficult. Um, I want you guys to figure that stuff out prior to getting your transplant. Right now I'm getting my, I have my jobs insurance because I cannot opt to take insurance through New York Health Exchange. The reason why I couldn't get insurance through New York Health Exchange is because from what my social worker told me is that it's like double dipping, right? So I can't get insurance through New York Health Exchange, and then on top of that, get Medicare. Ridiculous. I, I I don't know why she thought I would qualify for Medicaid, but I didn't. So I had to go back on my jobs insurance. Now they're taking an extra hundred and some change out of every single check that I really can afford. On top of all of the medications that I'm taking, you know, I'm taking the Prograf, I'm taking the Rap Immune, I'm taking the Celsap, I'm taking Omeprazole, which is supposed to like help your gut. I'm taking Bactrim. I forgot what that's for. If you know and you had a kidney transplant, you let me know. Um, and I'm also taking like a baby aspirin. I also had to go back to the doctor because I had to get diarrhea medication because like these medications are having my stomach just go crazy. And that's another thing I read about psoriasis is that um, a lot of times your psoriasis flares up if your gut health is not okay. And obviously my gut health is not okay. Um, and then I just did this last video where I went ahead and ate a bunch of fast food. Listen, I enjoyed myself, even though I sounded like a little brat. Um, it was like a cheat for me because for years, ever since I was diagnosed with kidney failure, I've tried really hard to stay away from junk and from fast food and stuff like that. So um, it was fun. Will I do it again? Probably just because it's fun and I would love to try some new things. However, I won't do it an entire week the way that I did before. I probably would just do like a mukbang. Is that how it's called? Because I have a lot of things that I want to talk about. And maybe you guys can talk about this stuff with me. I don't have many friends. I am a loner. I'm a person that talks to myself quite frequently. And I'm not afraid to admit that. So come chat with me. Leave some comments down below. Um, and if you have any remedies for psoriasis, please, please, please let me know. Uh, anyways, if you want to follow me on my journey, want to see if my stomach actually goes down from this... Uh, bulge that I have from a kidney and I really get upset when people say stuff about Selena Gomez I don't know if her kidney was inserted in the front because she's a celebrity maybe they did something special for her who knows but if it is in the front and people are commenting on how she looks in her bikini saying that she has extra pudge and stuff it's not pudge it, it, it's her kidney and it's a big organ that's put in the front they're trying to stuff that into a small body you know so cut her some damn slack <laughs> and yeah help me out with the psoriasis guys should i cut my hair is there other products that you guys know of i heard also that i should put like apple cider vinegar in my hair the only thing that i really do use in my hair is like shea moisture products or coconut oil if something else works better please 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 let me know i really want my san francisco trip to be great i've never been on a vacation before when i say never never i don't know if i went through this story before but i had my first at 15 had my second at 17 and um, my kids have been my entire life. So at 32 years old, yes, I just said my name, my name. <laughs> at 32 years old, yes, I've said my age, um, I am ready to finally go on a vacation and I hope that psoriasis is not the death of me. Pray for me. Please. All right, anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for me on what you would actually like to see, um, or if you even think my, if you think my personality sucks, just say, listen, you suck. <laughs> I've said that in my last video also, but yeah, I would love some feedback. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.